Hey friends, it's Ash Wednesday. Very good to be with you today. There was a doctor who was going over the charts and he asked the nurse, uh, uh, tell me how's the little girl in room 212 who swallowed the 10 quarters last night? Jesus makes a common sense statement in the second chapter of Mark. He says, it's the sick that need the doctor, not the healthy. Well, that's an important reminder to us of what we're doing on Ash Wednesday. On Ash Wednesday, we're standing in line to make a declaration to the world and to ourselves. Now, the problem is that some people are standing in the wrong line. The, the people in the wrong line think that receiving the ashes means that they're better than others. Isn't that what happened with the scribes and the Pharisees? They say, Jesus, why are you hanging out with sinners and tax collectors? Why are you hanging out with those type of people? Sometimes we we receive the ashes on our, our forehead and people think about them as a badge of honor. Look at me. I'm righteous. I'm holy. I'm well. Jesus reminds us that those people won't see the doctor. Why? Because they don't think that they need the doctor. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're standing in the wrong line. The line we're supposed to be in is a line filled with sinners. It's a line of, of people getting ready to meet the doctor. Why? Because we need the doctor. See, the ashes remind us of, of three things. I'm going to say, first of all, they remind us of our past sins. The ashes are made by burning last year's palm branches. It's a reminder to us of the many ways that we've fallen short since last Easter. We promise to follow Jesus with dedication and with joy, but so many times we failed throughout the year. So the ashes are a confession of our condition. And throughout the scriptures, uh, people have used the ashes to show their regret and sorrow. Think of David. Think of Job. The ashes are a reminder that we need to see the doctor. Well, here's the second thing. The ashes represent our present desire to get better. Ash Wednesday is the opportunity to say, I want to be better than what I've been. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been sick, gone to the doctor, and the doctor, she gives you a prescription? She says, uh, uh, take two pills uh, uh, every four hours for six days. Well, how do you do with those prescriptions? Do you follow them to completion, or do you just take them until you feel good? During our season of Lent, we often try and follow spiritual prescriptions. Maybe it's to give something up. Maybe it's to begin a fast. Perhaps it's we set aside a specific time to read scripture or to pray. Friends, I want to say it's great to see the doctor and it's great to get a prescription, but it helps if you follow the prescription. Last thing that I want to say that, that the ashes remind us of is our future transformation our future transformation. If you've ever gone to the doctor, you know you don't just get to go walk right in and see the doctor. <laughs> First of all, there's a preparation. You got to sign in. You got to state your symptoms. Then you have to wait in the waiting room. You have to get weighed. Oh, that's a lot of fun. And then finally, you see the doctor. Well, a lot of people enter into holidays without ever embracing the meaning of those holidays. There are some people who celebrate Thanksgiving without ever being thankful. There are some people who celebrate Christmas without ever encountering the Christ. There are some people who celebrate Resurrection Sunday without ever understanding that Jesus rose. See, the ashes on our forehead point to a transformation that's going to happen down the road. The ashes remind us that we are in a waiting room, but a change is coming. And here's that change. It reminds us that God who began a good work within us will see it to completion. It's a reminder to us that God will turn sorrow into joy, that weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning, that, that, that out of darkness will come light and out of ashes will come the victory. A doctor is looking over the charts and he asks his nurse, how's the little girl in room 212 who swallowed 10 quarters last night? The nurse said, no change. Church, our change is coming. 
The ashes remind us that we need a doctor. And they also remind us that we have a doctor and he's calling our name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.